Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Hot Projects where we take a look at some of the biggest games on the blockchain right now. We're going to be taking a look at some updates, some spooky updates this week, obviously being Halloween week. Um, don't forget, we've got some giveaways. Watch the earnings. We've got the Can I Make It Alluvium. There's a $100 giveaway. Go check that out if you haven't done that already. And there's also extra giveaways of some Alluvium beta spaces if you want to get involved on that. So if you want to play the closed beta, there's 10 spots available for people who want to do that. So good chances of getting that. Go for it if you want to. We have, first up, the Bornless. This is going to be a really exciting event on the 28th go or the 29th UTC at midnight. Um, you can watch me and some other YouTubers headed up by Crypto Stash playing Bornless. And yeah, this is just going to be great feels for Halloween because uh, it has Halloween vibes, spooky vibes throughout it. And it is a, a, a first person shooter that has a very strong horror element to it as well the the game mode is really really cool you are it's battle royale in teams of two is one of the modes we played but whilst doing that you're also trying to stave off this giant wolf creature um by sacrificing um some of the currency in the game which you need to be able to upgrade your weapons buy new ones and to be able to purchase ammo so yeah it's got a real good complexity to it i think the detail and the the artwork on it's really really cool love the atmosphere to it of this game so if you want to tune in for that live stream uh we're going to be playing that on crypto stashes i'm, I'm going to try set it up so i can live stream at the same time as well so hopefully some of you guys will tune in and we'll we can chat through on whilst we're heading up last time I came out on top as the person who won the most matches, I think. Um, I was with one of the developers, though. So, yeah, go check that out. If you haven't seen uh, Bornless, it is, um, it's down below in the links, as is everything. I'll give the Twitter, Twitter link to every single place. Usually the best because they have their link trees on there where you can check out everything else. Next up, we have Rebel Bots because... Rebel bots are having their army B uh, Rebel bot army beta testers getting their first hands on look at Xoil Wars. So beta is live and early. They're proud to become our beta testers to Zolium, and you can join us for Discord beta streams over the next two weeks. So if you are a Rebel Box holder, um, then that's definitely worth checking out. If you have a piece of land, I own I believe one piece of land. And I have a rebel bot. If we go to uh, OpenSea, go to my OpenSea. You can see some of the NFTs that I've got. Um, Rocket League Mink Pass. That sounds dodgy. I don't think that's official, legit. But yeah, there's my Zoilium land, and I have a rebel bot somewhere. Hello, rebel bot. So many NFTs that I'm not using. There's my rebel bot NFT. I quite like my rebel bot NFT. Uh, if you want to get one of these guys, you can pick them up. The floor prices drop significantly because obviously you lose a lot of the perks of some of these. But you know we're talking 0.08 where this was at one point selling for the average price of 2.35 ETH. Wow! So that's obviously come down significantly, but it, it made quite gains. So it's it's looking all right based on where it was, and obviously there's different rarities in there. Uh, so yeah, you can play this if you are. One of the beta testers to Zoilium. I haven't actually got access to this. I'm gonna try and connect with um, the team on this. I uh, did have a wanted to have a proposal that I wanted to to suggest to them. I'm um, gonna be one of the speakers at Breathe Convention, which is gonna be happening in Vegas in around May. Um, I'm gonna be doing giving doing giveaway of tickets for that. So if anybody's in America and close to Vegas and maybe wants to travel to that. It'd be cool to see some people there. Uh, but I'll be giving away two free entry tickets for that event. The, the entry tickets themselves will be NFTs, which is really cool. But at the end of the event, they are doing this show of, of battle bots. And they, they said like, maybe there's some, some, some people that you think maybe some games that might come to mind. And like one of them was Meta Gear because obviously that is battling robots. But the other one that came to mind, and I think this is a bigger, project you know if you look at some of its investor animal brands ubisoft rebel bots would be 
awesome for this event you know so that the, this the, the battle bots bit would be have like to be sponsored um by rebel bots so i just think it would it would fit so well so i'm going to try connect with them to, on that anyway um so i might see if we can get up some some beta testing spots so we can actually play this because you know from the, the trailer looks like it's going to be really fun looks like it's going to have a uh, very much kind of similar vibe to Axie in terms of using cards that have different powers. And they seem pretty straightforward. I like games like this that are intuitive, like Draku Master. That's just really easy to pick up. You know, game one energy. You can see how much attack, defense they're going to do. Um, I think this, this this game could work really well. And then the you've also got the, um, the base build aspect to it. That you're kind of familiar with if you've played things like uh, Clash of Clans. So really excited for this. There's also a little Halloween meme competition where you can win some land. So definitely worth getting in on some of these competitions where you can win things for free or, you know, it's just social to be social features to be able to get entry, tag three player to earn friends, follow and retweet, create a spooky meme about Rebelbox and comment on it below. Easy. And then you could get a free piece of land with that. So that's Rebelbox. Definitely worth checking out. And I'll, like I say, I'll try and get some beta access to, the, to be able to check out some of the gameplay on that. Maybe show it in next Monday's episode. Next up, we have Guild of Guardians, a huge project. This is probably one of the earliest projects out there alongside things like Alluvium. And, but this is one of those games like Alluvium that they're working to create a game that is is vast, expansive, high quality, something that's really gonna be something that attracts everybody, mobile gameplay. Um, here's some of the pre-alpha game footage. This is from the 17th of November. This is last year. So we've moved a lot further along with this game's development. In playing it, the features of this game, everything works. What it just needs for me is a little bit more complexity to it. Um, a little more, you know, random loot drops and things like this that, that keep you engaged with it. And, you know, getting things from every single enemy or like a random chance to get something from every enemy. I like that. Um, but one of the things they are doing is creating um, different game modes within that now. And here we have some more up to date footage of the game. What we can see is, you know, all four team members on the right there. Nice, easy, simple user interface. But here we get to see where, you know, working as a team collaboratively is really important in this. We see one taking the hits from most of this enemy uh, damage, but then all the other people who are probably have less health but do more damage on the outside. So it is really about working together as a team to be able to take down these enemies, to be able to complete each mission. And I think they're going to have a variety of different game modes as well, which is important in games like this to keep things, to add a bit of variety to them. I think games are successful when they start to put out regular updates, things that change the game in little ways, change the meta, add a little extra challenge. So really excited for that. Last week, we got a little sneak peek into their new user interface, which looks awesome. Uh, I think the style looks really, really cool. We can see the different difficulties that you can take down enemies with. Support that you can add. Contribute cubelets wood. Be able to take them down. Guild power, recommended power. Starting the battle, dread forest spirit. And potential loot that can be dropped. So as the game, this is really making some strong progress and I'm excited for what this brings as well. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a hot project without featuring under blocks. And this has to feature because it's Halloween time. And that means we're going to have the Halloween Bash Tournament. $15,000 prize pool, Immutable X, free to play, no NFT or crypto wallet required. All you need to do is download the game at wagyu.io. This is a safe link. The Twitter link that I'll put in below. I know it's quite scary downloading certain things, especially when around crypto. Uh, you don't want to be downloading things that haven't been verified. I can verify that this... It, undead blocks make sure you check the twitter tag undead blocks just simple as that that their uh link is is the one that you use wagyu.io very simple you just type that in uh so there'll be 15,000 of grabs but top 4,000 entrants will earn prizes it is very difficult if you're new to this but you might be experiencing games like this and it's free crypto 
the token that you'll be getting is Z Bucks. Um, and I've just been earning a little bit here, a little bit there through the tournaments that they've done. So I'll be ready to, to use them when needed. Now, what I was really wanting to see from Undead Blocks is some variety in the game modes because they've been changing up pretty much week to week and that's kept it really interesting and exciting. It's added a little extra challenge for me personally. Like I want to complete this, this mode, this challenge for the week and they've just continued in that suit. Here we have a little sneak peek of Firearms Roulette. Every 30 seconds, your weapon will change. And you're going to have to deal with that. Because it could change at any moment. And yes, you could change to what it looks like. So I think this is the F1. Changes to an AK. And yeah, you're going to have to deal with that. But like in a situation where you are against that many zombies it could be that you really need a machine gun and you end up with a pistol so i think it's going to be really interesting to see how this plays out and also you're going to be looking for good runs with it being random if it's not the same every time they if it's like that um then to get a good run you probably need a good batch of machine guns not pistols uh, which means I think it, it gives you, if you've got time on your hands, a good chance of ranking highly if you get that good run with machine guns. Uh, I do wonder when it re when it changes. It looks like you end up with full ammo to start with. So using that time in the bottom, then they're okay. I don't need to reload now. That's going to be a way to save time. If you haven't played before, definitely try and get speed reload as quick as possible. You can just churn through enemies, make sure that you uh, make drops around one of the few ammo drops there are. There's one by the bus and there's one down here. That's where the pumpkin is, just off around the corner there at the back. There is another area where you can pick some up as well. Uh, I think there's another one as well, but yeah. Go searching on your own before you get into this. You can, I think you can still have a go on the beta practice. But five days, that was on the October the 23rd. So four days until the Halloween bash goes live. And what a big sponsor, Immutable X. Huge sponsor to have um, back in this game. So always excited to play Undead Blocks. Ooh, and new war weapons coming soon. Crossbow. Yes, please. I mean, it could be very, very slow. <laughs> But just to, just to have some new weapons is always good. Having new places that you can go to to pick up a, a new weapon is brilliant. Does it shoot explosive arrows? That's the question we all need to know. Explosive arrows would be awesome. And then finally we have Galaxy Blitz. The one thing we invested in is the Shining Adventures Guild. It changed the event, the bloody vesting periods due to a Dalvo. But yeah, just a real small sneak peek at the um, the new user interface for the game. I think it looks cool. It looks in keeping with the theme of the game. Very futuristic, very alien. Um, but yeah, looking forward to, to this game going forward. This is going to be one of the games that I think that's something that you, you, you're going to want to get in straight from the off if you're going to play it. Uh, games like Clash of the Clans, you get in early, you can get advanced quickly and you can get to a level where you're not behind people. You know, if you're trying to catch up, but somebody's had a day of building their, their buildings ahead of you, unless that you've got like loads of resources to be able to skip all that, you know, um, usually with in games like Clash of Clans, it's using gems to be able to skip the timer, but it costs a lot more so you can save a lot if you're a free to play player as well, by getting involved in this um, early. Well, definitely checking it out. Like I say, it's one of the one things that we invested in Shiny Ventures Guild. And still see it as having potential. Okay, I think we'll leave it there for this week's Hot Project. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like on the video. Always help us to channel out. Hit subscribe if you need to update future content. That is all for me. See you guys soon.